Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and in today's video we are doing a showcase of my collection of vases and vessels. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't yet already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Hannah Naylor. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So this video is actually a suggestion from quite a few of you on my community board. I did a question the other day just asking what type of content you guys want to watch and this is one that was a repeat. So we're doing a kind of showcase of all of my vases and vessels that I have. I picked my favorites. I have a lot of them and I just picked my favorite ones that you guys maybe haven't quite seen yet. And so yeah, there might be a repeat if you have been with me for a while, but I'm going to do my best to kind of just get through these really quickly. There's a few of them that are rather large, so I will be doing some B-rolls as I talk about them. Everything will be linked down in the description box if I can link them. Quite a few of these are vintage pieces. Obviously, they're kind of one of a kind, so I do my best to find Etsy sellers that sell similar items. So again, check the description box for that. But yeah, let's get into this. And I do want to just make a little side note to you guys. There are quite a few vases that I actually have sold because they got so trendy. And this is one thing I want to stress to you guys. Be very intentional with your purchases. There was a vessel in particular. It was the Joshua vessel from Pottery Barn that just blew up. And honestly, I'm one of those people that really strive for having a kind of curated home that not a lot of people have. I'm not saying that my style is like, one and done and there's no other person that has or shares the same style as me but when i shop when i buy things for my home i'm trying to find stuff that isn't trending that isn't what everybody else has i want to be unique and i want to be have a space that is different from everybody else's i don't want my home to look like studio mcgee or everybody else's house and I've been seeing this a lot recently, even with just like these fall decorate with me videos, like women going to Target and buying the entire Target capsule and then decorating their home. And it, it, there's nothing special about it. And don't get me wrong, no shade on any of you guys that either have the Pottery Barn vessel that I'm referring to, or if you go to Target and you shop the entire capsule, no shade. If that brings you joy, if that brings you happiness, that is what I strive for. Do what makes you happy. But I recently have gotten rid of quite a few things, including my beautiful Louis Giltmere from Restoration Hardware. I sold it because it's just so popular and everybody has it. I don't want to have things that everybody else has. So that's what I strive for on my channel, bringing things that are unique and creative and different and just trying to showcase things that maybe you guys haven't seen or hasn't been done yet before. And I really push for you guys to do the same in your home. So I'm sorry for that side rant, but basically moral of my story, be intentional with your purchases, make good choices. Don't just buy something because it's super trendy right now. Buy stuff that you love and that you know that you're gonna keep and just just mm. that was my little rant but let's get into this video all right so let's start with the first one this guy if you've been with me you and all this vase was in my amazon shopping cart for a very long time enough time to get a little bit of dust on it that's how long this has been sitting in there but oh my goodness i am so glad i bought this it's so pretty it's a lot different it's a lot darker than i thought it was going to be based on the pictures but this is what it looks like up close it is definitely black like it's not it looks brown in the advertisement but I love the texture. I love the kind of beading on there. I love the shape of it. It's a fairly good size based on my head. I just think this is such a cool and unique pot. It's a little bit different from what you guys see. And it's just, yeah, it's not, it's not super nubby like the, um, I think it's the Minka, Minka pot from Anthropology. It's just a little, it's very subtle. It looks rustic, it looks used, it looks worn, it's got cracks. I'm here for it, I love it. Again, this guy's from Amazon, it was around 60 plus dollars. So that's the first base in my collection. The second base is also from Amazon, she's a goodie. This is her, this is from a company called Zentique, which I have a few of them from that company. Always really great quality, they have got some serious weight behind them. I just love the texture of this, let's just get a close up on that. It's kind of got this like zigzag pattern and then you can see the color variation of like the concrete and then this like white spot splatter kind of distressing in between the gray so there's a lot of texture to this between the pattern and the coloring it's got a good size mouth on the top and i just love the shape of it it's kind of in like a diamond shape comes wider up top comes to a small point at the bottom but really great really squatty good size and yeah so that's the second base within my collection these next little bases are from hobby lobby i love these they're so stinking cute 
They have like a black glaze at the top and then they have that concrete at the bottom. I currently have these styled in my laundry room. I have them paired together. I think they're great. This larger guy was $20, which I'm pretty sure I bought it on sale. I never buy anything full price at Hobby Lobby. And then the smaller one was priced at $14.99. But these are such cute little vases. You can put a few stems in them. You can leave them as is. I just love the contrast between that black glaze and the concrete finish on the bottom. I love there's a large and a small. So many reasons to love these. And so yeah, I did want to talk about them. They're fairly new. You guys might recognize them, but I just thought these were so cute. Definitely kind of like a Studio McGee dupe, but. So those were the next faces in my collection. All right, we're moving kind of into vintage pieces. I have so many of these, you guys will recognize them. These are the Chinese water vessels. These are, these are considered a pot. A lot of people call them vessels. Pots, vessels, vases. I had someone say like, stop using the word vessel. I'm like, well, you know what? They're categorized as vessels, I'm sorry. This is just a staple piece here in my home. I have about three of these little guys. I know some of you have actually purchased quite a few of them from me. This one's rather large at the top. It does have the handles. Some of them have no handles, but it's just got so much character. It's just vintage, it's distress, it shows it's been somewhere, it's done something. It's not supposed to be perfect, which I absolutely love. And one thing cool about vintage is not every single pot is going to be the same, which is super cool. Each one of them is unique in their own way. Again, I love these for styling purposes. I, I use them to house like all of my utensils for cooking. I've used these as a standalone moment. I've used these to put different florals in. They're just such a staple here in my home. If you have rustic luxury style, or if you love bringing in vintage pieces, I think everybody should own just a basic vintage vessel. So this is the next item in my collection. The next little guy is this vintage pot, which some of you guys should also recognize. This is so cute. I got this from a local vintage shop here in San Diego. It's got the dominant of white, but then you can see the kind of dark brown undertone of it. Uh, it does have wear and tear on it. It's got a nice little spout. Oh, you can see my filler in there. It's got the little one-sided handle, so it's kind of asymmetrical, which is cool. So if you want, you can pair it like this, so you have more white. Or if you're feeling frisky, you can turn it around and have a little bit more texture and dimension through the distressing. So that's one, another really cool thing about vintage pieces is that they're all different and that some of them like this have more distressing than others. If you don't want that look, flip it around. If you do, great, changes the whole look of your style. So this is a cute little find. Again, this is from a vintage shop. I will do my best to link a similar option, but that's the next face in my collection. So the next item, I'm gonna have to tilt off to the side because it is larger and you guys always comment on how beautiful it is for a great reason. It is so unique and it's so fun. This is a primitive hand carved vintage vessel that I also got from a shop here in San Diego. It's just so much texture, so much visual interest. The shape is super fun. Let me get a little close up of it. You've kind of got the hand carved there. It's got a little different distressing and texture. It's just super unique and that's what I love about this particular vase. It's just so cool. I'm not quite sure what they actually use this for, like what its intended purpose was, but I love it. I think it's so fun. And again, I will do my best to find some Etsy sellers that sell maybe something similar. Cause again, I did get this locally here in my hometown at a vintage shop, but just love that. And it's so fun, so unique, so different. So yeah, that is the next item in my collection. All right, so I think the next four vases, I'm gonna have to do B-rolls because they're either too large or they're already kind of put where they're at. So starting with like the vessel behind me, these I have two of, these are considered an XXL vessel. They're a clay pot. They're basically this little guy's mother on steroids. It's just a bigger version. They do make these with handles and they make them without handles. The ones I currently have don't have handles and I have them for more styling purpose of like my bigger foliage, big pot. It's, it's something that usually you will want to style on the ground or with maybe a fake tree in it because it is a larger size. But I love these. Again, they're super similar to this where there's just a lot of distressing. There's a lot of different colors going on. There's drip marks. It's, it tells a story. It's been somewhere. And that's the reason why I love them so much. So that's kind of the next item in my collection. So the next item, the next vessel that I have in my collection, which is actually one of my favorites, is from Restoration Hardware. You guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, RH, I can't afford it, it's super expensive, which nine times out of 10 is typically the case, but with this, it's really not that bad. I looked it up online, so I wasn't repeating any price that wasn't it. So it is originally $250 regular price, but if you are a member, it's, it's $187, which is not that bad for what you're getting. 
The dimensions on it are 13 inches in diameter and 20 inches high, and it weighs roughly 30 pounds. So the one that I have is a uh, predominantly white, but they also have one where it's actually the brown. Let me zoom, zoom up on this. So this one has more of the predominant brown and the white is more the undertone, whereas the one I have is the brown undertone with the white being more dominant. It's just such a beautiful vessel. If you are contemplating, if you're wanting to invest in a really good one, this is a really beautiful option. I am hands down so satisfied with this vessel. I just love styling with it. I'm sure you guys get tired of seeing it, but I love it. So, so that's the next vessel in my collection. So the next decorative vase that I recently got, if you watched my fall decorate with me, you guys will know that I got a beautiful, gigantic vase from Kathy Wo. This is a new purchase for me. It was on back order for about three months. It finally came in right around at the time where I was filming my fall decorate with me. And so this is what it looks like. I will be doing some B-rolls of it too. So it does come in two different sizes. It comes in a small version, which is priced at $177, and then also comes in the large version, which I got, which is $264. Now, if you saw my video, it's massive, you guys, like way bigger than I anticipated. I had purchased it for my island. It was, it's really big. So I have it currently styled in my dining room, just kind of switching things up. The dimensions on this guy, it's 20 inches high by 18 inches wide, 18 inches deep. It weighs 57.3 pounds, just to give you a idea of how much it weighs. It is absolutely stunning. The only thing I do want to state with this vase is you can tell from the picture, it looks a lot, it looks a lot warmer. Like it looks more brown than what I thought it was going to be. It's very more of a terracotta. It's a lot more red than I was anticipating. Based on the pictures, it looks a little bit more yellow. So do take that in consideration if you are thinking about purchasing this vase, but it's beautiful. I love the shape of it. I love the size of it. I love the texture. It's just a really good, it's like a good staple piece. But again, do take in consideration. It does read a little bit more red than yellow based on the images on the website. That will be linked down below, but that's the next vase in my collection. So the last and final vase is from Home Depot by the company Zentique again, which we have already discussed. I think a lot of people sleep on Home Depot. I've found so many good finds on Home Depot that a lot of people I think would overlook do take in consideration. You do have to have some time to scout these items out, but they're do not sleep on Home Depot. So I actually found Zentique when I was shopping through Home Depot, found out they do sell on Amazon, but this has been one of my favorite vessels that I also have purchased through them. It is kind of this beautiful white glazed shorter vase with a light gray top. It does have kind of imperfections. It's like speckling on the exterior. The dimensions on it are a 15 by 15 by 15 and it weighs approximately 32 pounds, so she is thick, but I love it because it's neutral. It's gonna go with anybody's home decor style, and I like these kind of shortier vases and vessels for styling on a coffee table, maybe a side table, or even a console table, because it's not going to be obstructive of your view. I think sometimes when you're putting big vases on console tables, maybe in front of a TV, it's gonna block a lot of that space, especially if you have like a TV or something that you are looking at. So I love these like shorter, smaller ones for styling purposes. So yeah, that is the last vase of my vase vessel collection. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my vase slash vessel collection. And yeah, I'm always collecting, but I'm always selling too. Sometimes there's just vessels that I thought I was going to love or I thought I was gonna style with more. And instead of holding on to it and it's taking up space in my sideboard, I give it another chance. I sell it and I give it to someone else that will enjoy it um, more than I currently am. So don't be afraid to like rotate your stuff and yeah, have fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below, but until next time, I love you so much and we'll see you then. Peace. Mm -hmm.